This tutorial is all about how to recreate the Super Bowl logo. I have this Super Bowl logo here and uh, if you notice it's it is a super low resolution. So our objective here is to recreate this logo to make it really sharp to make it really a vector uh, logo. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is so you click on the logo which is a low resolution logo and then you go to arrange and then lock the object now we lock the objects so that say you accidentally click on the object it doesn't it doesn't move so this is locked already okay? so the next thing we have to do is you go to view and you click on wireframe when you click on wireframe what it does it makes up if it's a bitmap it makes a grayscale of the bitmap and that's a good thing so that we can we can see the the logo and we can see the lines that we create okay so we're gonna start in doing this one first okay so we zoom in so what I'm going to do I'm going to you go to your Bezier tool okay since this logo is more not a lot of curves so we use the bezier tool and we just click 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 we just follow the uh the wireframe image so click here here okay. here here okay so it's just basically like connecting the dots if you want to navigate just type in letter N and you can navigate where you want to go see that box there okay so I'm just still here click go down click click click, click. F for zoom out okay click 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 here so we're almost done so click here 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 and we're gonna close that you know it's it's closed when you go to that the, the first node that you just created and it has an arrow it means to say you're about to close the object Okay, now we're gonna make this a curve here. So you click on the line, okay, and then you click on your shape tool, and then click on this line again, okay. You know it's selected because you got that black dot there, and then you curve it, convert line to curve. And then you can click this one, because it's elastic now, there. Okay, now we create this one here click 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 and close okay so F4 now we're just going to uh, combine this so we're going we're going to combine it because we have this one inside okay so you select these two objects this one and then this small thing here and then combine here okay so now if we go to wireframe, go to enhance view and see if I, I'm just gonna color it red just to show that is vector image now. Yep. Now let's go to wireframe and we'll continue the logo. It's a very simple logo actually. So you go back to your Bezier tool and we start from here. We're gonna create this one, click here here and then we close okay and then we go to our shape tool and click on this line here you can go click this one for convert line to curve or you can right mouse click and you go to curve that way click right mouse click uh, okay it's already curved so I'm just going to oops sorry click on that one and then you go to line first 
and then you click again and then click on curve yeah so you create the this one click 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 and then close you go to your shape tool so click, click on the segment uh, you click make it convert line convert to line first then click again and then convert to curve convert line to curve and then go this way so click here and make it to curve okay I'm gonna zoom in here because we have this four shapes here so what I'm going to do I'm going to click here click here first and here okay so that's my line and I'm gonna click here too to create another line okay and I'm just going to adjust I'm going to adjust this too okay and now I'm going to create a bezier tool bezier line again from here to here and if you notice it's a little bit curved so I click on this line here and then curve and then I'm just going to make it that way okay now I'm just going to duplicate that so plus sign in your keyboard just duplicate without offset I'm going to go this way duplicate again plus sign your keyboard plus sign plus sign plus sign okay we're almost there okay now I'm going to use my uh, smart fill tool but before that I'm going to my view and enhance view first so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my smart fill tool click on that and then I'm just going to fill this one this this and this and I'll go back to my wireframe okay then I can delete these lines that I created so delete 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 that like this 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 and this okay now I can just copy this one plus sign the keyboard and then move it over here if it's not really you know you can click again and then rotate and then move plus sign the keyboard and move it there rotate a little bit there okay now since if I go to view enhance view this is just one whole color so I'm going to combine all of those wireframe I'm going to select this objects here and then combine there so hit F4 now the stars so the stars is pretty simple too so you go to your bezier tool click 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 okay so that's my star and I'm going to close Let's do some little bit of adjustment there. Okay. Okay. Now this one is just a mirror uh, image, so I click on this, plus sign in your keyboard, and move it over here. But then just mirror it. So you go here to mirror horizontally, and then I'll just move it in place there. Okay. Now. Uh, the Super Bowl logo here. So what I'm going to do, I'm make create. I'll create the path first. Bezier tool here and here. So that's my path. And then I'm going to curve this. So we click on the segment and then convert line to curve. There. So that's my path. 
Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in the, the word Super Bowl. So, Super Bowl. Okay. I'm going to choose a font which is very close to that. Actually, it's this one here. It's not really, really exactly the same. Just to make the tutorial short, I'm going to use that one. Okay. And if you notice, there's a space between the letters. So I go to my shape tool and I'm going to adjust the text, text spacing. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, so I click on this one, which is the text. And I go to my text, fit text to path. Okay, my path is this one here. And if you notice, if I go to the edge, I mean to the, yeah, to the line, it automatically goes to the, there. So I click that, and, there's, and then you can just do some adjustments. Going to go here. Okay, so like I say, it is it is not exactly the same the same font. And this one, when you click on your shape tool, you have this squares here. It means to say you can you can actually drag the letters individually there okay so i'm going to do this w okay to the the letters but before that you click on the line that's so what we're going to do. we're going to separate the letters you go arrange and break text apart so this is okay so I can delete the line now which is this one because it's separated already now what I can do I can click on the text and you go to arrange break artistic text so that it will be individual like see I can okay, click here and then sorry go to arrange break artistic text first okay now this one is individual already you can move it individually so click and then click another and then I can skew it like that click one more click click one more click so we're just adjusting the text this one is fine so I'm going to arrange break text apart so B is fine, so it's just the O, the W, and the L. Okay, now, the only thing we have to do, the last thing we have to do is the, the contour outside. So, we're going to start here again. So click on your Bezier tool. So click, click, click and then we're going to click here and then we're going to curve that later so click 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 and then we go here click again here 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 and we're going to close okay. now go to your shape tool and click on the line that you want to curve so like say for example here i click on the line and click on curve i'm going to curve that here this one click again and then click on curve and this one click here and then curve okay so I think we're almost done. Oh, here, one more, I forgot. So click here, and then curve. There. Okay, that looks good. 
So we unlock the object, unlock all object. We move the image here to the left side. Okay. And then as you, you notice that all of these are vector, all lines. So I'm going to go to my view and enhance view. And then now we are ready to fill the colors. Okay. So we sample the colors. So you go to your eyedropper, click on the blue, and then hold on shift and pour. Oops. Control Z. Okay, we have to make this to back first. So you click on the outline and then go arrange order to back of page. Okay. So now we go back to your eyedropper tool, we sample that blue and then shift and go to that. Okay. And then this one too. I'll just zoom in here. So hold on shift because we already sampled that color there I'm just going to remove the outline of this because you know there's an outline there so I'm just going to go to my outline tool and click on none and okay, also the green so I'll just sample the color green and then shift and then pour because we already combined that and then we'll just remove the outline none and then this one would be red the star would be red and this one would be blue so I click on the blue again and then go back here and blue and I'm going to remove the outline of these two objects the two stars none there so we're done so the only have thing to do is to put the background so I'm just going to make it the same as that one. So I'll put here. But before that, I have to make this outline or contour, this one, to be white. So click on white and then remove the outline. Click on none. I'm going to put black temporarily and I'm going to go arrange order to back of page. Okay, now. I have that. Okay, now that's black, so I put the black over here. Yeah. And then plus sign keyboard and go up and then I'll just make that blue for now. And then shift uh go to order to back of page. Okay. So we have that and then I plus sign again and then I go this way and then plus sign and this one will be black okay so now I'll click on this and then what I can do is I'm going to sample this color here first sample that and then hold on shift and then pour and then I can remove the outline and then I'm just going to use the transparency and then there yeah that's close now this one I'm going to sample it here sample this color here that's the blue and then hold on shift to pour that color I'll remove the outline and then you notice that there's a black thing here so that can be a gradient too, so I can go to my interactive fill. Click and drag going down. No. Click and drag going up. There. Okay. And then in here, I can drag the black going to this square. And then I can just adjust a little bit. There. So there you go. This is the vector image. Very sharp.